favorite stroke to teach is actually breaststroke. Now, breaststroke is a cool stroke because it's kind of counterintuitive, even though it's very technical. And you'll be amazed at how much fun it is to lunge down the pool once you figure out how to swim breaststroke properly. So today we're going to break breaststroke down into three parts. We're going to work on the kick, then the pull, and then we're going to put it all together and work on the timing and how the stroke fits together as a whole. So the first part of the stroke I want to talk about, and the part of the stroke that gives you the most propulsion, is the kick. There are three parts of the kick, knees, feet, and hips. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the knees. Knees should point down at the bottom, and you want your knees to stay pretty narrow. You don't want your knees to splay out any wider really than your hips. So knees should point down, nice and narrow, about hip width. Next is your feet. You want your feet to come up and out to the side, your toes pointing to the side. You don't want to bring your feet up narrow. You want to bring your feet up nice and wide, toes pointing out to the side. That allows you to get that nice set on the water. Then, you want to keep the water just straight back and snap your feet together, okay? Now your hips throughout the whole kicking process should be right on the surface. You don't want your hips to ever sink down. So it's important to bring your feet right to your booty and not bring your feet any higher or lower. So feet drop wide, knees stay narrow, hips stay high. The first drill we're going to do is kicking on your back, paying special attention to the width of your kick. Watch your knees and make sure that your knees stay relatively close with your feet kicking back wide to outside of your hips. In this next drill, we're working on keeping our hips right on the surface of the water while drawing our feet right to our booty. The goal here is to get your whole body line in your glide position to be right on the surface of the water while maintaining the same great width from the last drill. Our last kicking drill is all about quick feet and active hamstrings to work on drawing our heels to our booty very quickly and then snapping our feet straight back. So the next part of the stroke I want to talk about is the pull. Now in the breaststroke pull, you don't get as much propulsion as the kick, but it's still very important. So the breaststroke pull has five parts. First is the out sweep, then the in sweep, the finish, the lunge, and the glide. So we're going to start with the out sweep. On the out sweep, your hands press out with palms facing outwards to about right outside your shoulder width. You don't want to go very, very wide for the out sweep, but you still want to get a good press out on the water. Then you're going to change directions, keeping it relatively rounded, and you're going to bring your hands in for the in sweep, okay? After the in sweep, your hands are going to come up to the surface, and I explain it to my stories like eating ice cream. You want to bring your hands up to your mouth, keeping your elbows kind of out, but still kind of in front of your body, and then you're going to bring your hands up to the surface. This is the finish. After the finish, you're going to shoot your hands forward across the surface. That's the lunge, and you really want to connect your chest to the lunge. So you want to pretend like there's a string attached to your fingertips and your chest and it's kind of pulling you forward. Then right at the very end, your palms face down and you hold your thumbs together and that's the glide portion of the stroke. Now throughout the out sweep, in sweep, finish, lunge, and glide, you're going to go from slow to fast. So the out sweep is going to happen slow, the in sweep is going to get a little bit faster, through the finish and the lunge you should be at maximum speed. As you go through this pull, you want to make sure that you keep really rounded edges. You don't want up sweep, in sweep, shoot. You know, you want it to be pretty rounded and you want it to happen fast. Our first pulling drill is the out sweep skull. Palms face the side of the pool and you sweep out to just outside of shoulder width. Feel your lats activate throughout this drill. Next is the in-sweep skull. Start with your arms outside of shoulder width and then scoop the water towards your mouth like you're feeding yourself ice cream. Our next drill is breaststroke arms with a flutter kick to work on accelerating through the finish and the lunge of our pull. With this drill, by eliminating the kick, we don't have to worry about the kick or the timing and we can just focus on that acceleration. Breaststroke underwater on your back is a great drill to be able to feel that small pull and watch your hands go through the entire pull process. So 
the last part of the stroke that we're going to talk about is the timing. Now, the first part of timing is when do you breathe? When does the breath fit into the stroke? A lot of people will start lifting their head up on the out sweep, but you want to wait for the in sweep to get your breath. So you wait until your arms get to that maximum width, and as you start bringing your arms in, that's when you're lifting your head to breathe. The next part of the timing is the kick. When does the kick fit into the stroke? Now, throughout the whole pull process, you're not kicking. Your legs are straight, and they're just hanging out behind you. So you're not kicking, you're not kicking, you're not kicking. And as soon as your hands begin to move forward, that's when you're allowed to start drawing up your heels. Until that point, your legs are right on the surface, nice and still. And then this is all you get to snap your feet around. So that kick has to happen really quick. The next part of the timing is called find your line. And now, in breaststroke, there has to be just one moment, even if it's just a fraction of a second, where your thumbs and your big toes are touching and your body is in a perfect line right on the surface of the water. Now that glide moment is one of my favorite parts of breaststroke because even through all the chaos, there's a moment in breaststroke where you have to be patient and glide. The last thing that I want to talk about is that breaststroke is all about being a skipping stone right across the surface. I call some of my best breaststroke swimmers water bug because they seem to skate right along the surface of the water. And that's your goal. Try to get nice and high in the water, scoot across the surface, and drive forward, attacking the water every stroke. Three count glide breaststroke is all about exaggerating finding your line. Your line is when your thumbs and your toes are touching. So go through the stroke as normal and then hold your body with core engaged with your thumbs and toes touching for a three count. Breaststroke arms with a dolphin kick works on two things. First, you're working on that aggressive lunge with your hands shooting forward right along the surface of the water. You're also feeling that proper kick timing, where your kick happens right as your arms extend forward into your line. In moose drill, our focus is on extending into your line as you feel your kick drive you forward. One of my favorite drills is alternating butterfly and breaststroke. Now this takes some thought and focus because it's hard to alternate between these two strokes, but what it does is it helps you feel your legs lift and your body undulation help you get a little bit extra power out of your breaststroke. <laughs> 